Before we start today's video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons. Thank you very much for sticking around and thanks for supporting me. It really helps me out a lot and I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos without you guys. So thank you so much. I would also like to take a moment to say special thanks to David and Richter for a tier free sub again this month. So thank you so much, you guys. In this video, we will be adding some kill quests to the game because right now we only have quests for collecting stuff. And we would also like to have some quests where we can kill something, for example, our skeletons. And of course, when we're done with this video, we will also be able to mix the quests so that we have collections and kills in the same quest if that's what we want. The first thing we have to do is to open up our quest script because in the bottom of our quest script, we have some objectives and we will need to create a new objective for our kill quest. So let's just go to our quest script and in the bottom, we have something called collect objective. We will actually have to do the same just for kill objective. So the easiest thing is to just copy this whole thing, copy it and paste it below. And actually we need to delete the functions and then we can rename this to kill objective. Um, so we actually only needed this, so we just copied a lot for nothing. Anyway, um, let's make a function for updating the kill count. So let's call this one update kill count. So this one will update our kill count. So it does exactly what it says. It will update the kill count. Um, if we need to take in a character. Why a character? Well, our enemy. Let's see if we can find him in the character panel. Buttons, character related. Have an enemy here, he inherits from the character script. So everything that we can kill is a character, actually. Let's just go with the character instead of enemy. There are also some things in character we need, so that's why we are calling that one instead. So if my type, my type, remember we have a type on in objective. If that's the same as the character dot my type. So we don't have a type on the character yet, I forgot. So we need to go to character. And in the top, we need to create a private string called type. And this is because we need to define the type. We could use tags. However, all our enemies would be tagged as enemy. So if we kill a wolf instead of an, a skeleton, we would also get that kill. So I would like to define a specific type of enemy. So instead of a, a, just using the tag, I would just like to use the type instead. Uh, and instead of just creating a wolf tag and an enemy tag, then we might break something we already created based on tags. So I'm just going to make this just to not to break anything we already did. I'm going to serialize this field, uh, encapsulate, sorry, so that we have our type right here. And I'll just rename this so I use the same convention, my type. So when we have the type, we can go back here and save the character dot my type is the same as the type that we are looking for here in the kill quest. Then we say my current amount plus plus. So that's way easier than checking for the items, right? Because the only way we can increase a kill quest is just by killing something. And if we abandon the quest and go back on it, well, then we need to reset the count of kills. So we don't need to keep track of kills that we already had. We only need to keep track of kills that we're killing while we have the quest. So this line of code is actually efficient enough to, to, for us to um, make the quest um, kill quest work. We also say quest log. Actually, we can just go here and take these two lines of code in update item count and paste them there because we need to update the quest update selected and we need to make sure that we haven't completed the quest yet. Okay, so that's the objective. The next thing we have to do is to go to our quest in the top. Let's see what we have here. We have something called collect objectives. We'll copy that one and paste it and make one called kill objective instead and call this one kill objectives. Okay, so we have the kill objectives now instead. Let's see, where are we using this? Are we using this for anything? Because we need to do the same thing for our, um, our kill quests. Yeah, we can see right here we have something called is complete. Okay, we need to do the exact same thing for the kill objectives because here we are checking if the collect objectives are complete. We could put them into one list, but we also need them in separate lists later. So let's just make two checks here. Let's check one where we check all kill objectives. And if it's complete, then it's false, it'll return true. Okay. So now we just made sure that we can have one quest with collect objectives and kill objectives in the same at the same time. 
without any problems. So this just made sure that we can check if we have cleared all our kill objectives and all our collect objectives. So the quest will not be complete unless both of them are, um, are, are, are complete. Yeah. And there's a start and update. I can see we don't need that actually. Okay, so with that done, we can go to our quest skill window, I guess. Let's see here. Or actually, we also need to make sure that we can reach the kill objectives. Let's just do that right away. Kill objective, right click, encapsulate field. Go to the bottom and find it somewhere there. Remove set and rename this one to my kill objectives. There we go. So where were we? Inside the quest log. We have something called um, accept quest somewhere. Let's see where it is. Show description. There, accept quest. Here we are running through our um, collect objectives and we are assigning them to a um, function that should run whenever we collect something. Well, we need to do the same for our kill objective. So let's start doing that. For each um, kill objective, let's just call it O as an objective and um, then it's inside the quest dot my kill objectives. So we need to run through all the kill objectives. When we've done that, we need to assign them to a function that is triggered every time we kill something and check if it's the right thing we just killed. So where should we do this? Well, we have our game manager and inside the game manager, I would actually like to create a kill confirmed event. So every time I kill something, the game manager knows that I killed something and then it can tell all the quests. Well, we just killed this this um, this type of, type of enemy. Uh, does any of you guys um, have that as an objective, right? So we kill something and then the game manager just asks all the quests if they have one of these kills on in on their kill list. So let's see, we can go to our manager somewhere. Uh, there, game manager. And I can see we don't have a single time. Let's just do that private static game manager. And let's just make a property for this real quick. Game object that find object type um, game manager and we actually don't need the like that yeah okay so now we have our game manager instance okay um, I'm not explaining that because we've done that so many times now then we need to create a delegate as we did before we need to make a delegate it needs to return void and we are going to call it kill confirmed. There was, this is our kill confirmed delegate and we need to take in a character and this is the uh, um, whatever we just killed right we just killed this then we need to create an event let's make a event here called private event or actually it's your public event kill confirmed kill confirmed event so this event will be triggered every time we kill something. Anything we kill will be triggered by this. Okay. So where are we going to trigger that? Well, we can actually make a function for triggering it. So let's make a function down in the bottom called, oh, we don't have a lot of functionality in the game manager. So let's call on kill confirmed. It takes in the character. It needs to have the same for, um, structure as the, um, the delegate up here, right? It's a void, it returns void, and it takes in the character's parameter. Well, we also need to do the same here, returns void, takes in the character's parameter. Well, actually, this one doesn't need to, but we're we, we just gonna do that. So if kill confirmed event is not null, to make sure we don't get null reference, and we say kill confirmed event, we're going to trigger it by feeding in the character right there. So now this one can trigger a kill. So now we have created this, we can jump back to our quest log. And inside the quest log, we need to um, assign something to this event. So we say game manager dot my instance dot kill confirmed event. What do we need to assign? Well, we need to assign new kill confirm and o dot update kill count. So the event, so we're running through all the 
kill objectives, they all need to listen to the kill confirmed event so that the game manager can say, hey, you have 10 quests. All of these quests have kill kill um, information in them or has uh, kill quests. So every time we kill something, we need to tell them that we killed something so that they can update if they are looking for whatever we just killed. Okay. That's what we're doing. Well, right now we are never um, executing this function here on kill confirmed. We're never executing anywhere. So where should we actually execute that one? That's a good question, right? So we need to execute it in our um, enemy or character actually. So let's find character. And let's see, we have something arrive, activate layer. Um, I guess we have something called take damage right here. And here it actually dies right here on line 215 in my script. It dies. So before it dies, let's just say game manager dot my instance dot on kill confirmed this. So we just call kill confirmed and tell them that we just killed this. So with all that done, all the typing, all that new thing, um, we should be able to have kill quest now. It's not a lot of new stuff. Uh, we just had to copy paste some things and adapt whatever we had for the collection quests for our kills. Um, but as you can see, it wasn't that much we need to do. So let's try to create a kill quest now. We go to our quest giver. Um, let's see here we have quests, kill skeletons we have here. Kill skeletons, I want to kill five skeletons for example. Um, actually, let's just write this to see what we have. Gather health potions, kill there. Um, collect objectives, let's put zero on that one. And let's say kill objectives, we have one kill objective. We need to kill five, oh, let's just say, let's just say one now because we need to test if it works, right? One skeleton like that skeleton so kill skeletons i want to kill one skeleton okay. that's a kill quest um let's just see if it's there so if i go here and click here we have kill skeletons i can click on it and accept okay and i i can I can't accept i can still accept it again let's see here okay it's because i clicked on the other one so i can't accept it again so it works okay um, let's see here. If we look here, the objectives are not written. I can't see my objectives, and that's because I haven't done that for my kill quest yet. So let's just do that in the quest log, I guess. We have somewhere where we're writing the objectives right there. We are actually writing the objectives, and uh, we are forgetting to do that for the the new quests. So let's see what do we need to do to do that. Um, we need to do the exact same thing. Just copy this and paste it below. And then I need to check in my kill objectives instead. So let's try to go back in Unity and test if this works. There we go. So we click here and we say skeletons accept. I have the quest. We click on it and we have one out of zero. Let's try to go down here and put a spell in the spell bar and to see if we can kill him. And what happens? He's dead. And I still have 0 out of 1. Okay, so it didn't update. I need to figure out why. Um, I actually know why. Let's see here. If we go to our enemy um, and we see the type, I forgot to write in the type. So it's very important that you write the type because it doesn't have the correct type. So that's why it didn't increase the kill count. So let's try to write skeleton. Skeleton like that. And play again. We're going to do it all again, except that, and let's just add a health or a fireball and fire, and it's dead. And now I have one out of one, and the quest is complete right here. It's written complete, so I can go up here and select that one and complete it, and now it's gone. So now kill quests also works, and you can, if you want to, you can go to quest giver and create quests that has kill. Um, objectives and that has gather objectives uh, you can just click here and add some collect objectives if you want to and add more kill objectives it's it's up to you you can test that if you want to but i think that's what i want to do in this video so thank you very much for watching in the next one we will start looking at some quest feed um and what i mean by that is the fact that when i kill a skeleton i would like it to be written on the screen that i just killed something that has something to do with a quest i have right so that's also something that we will be working on.
Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.